What is up guys, this is Wilson Clyde, and welcome back to our Moldavia campaign, where we are going for the um, Dracula's Revenge achievement. Uh, just jump back into things, let's uh, go ahead and protect trade, I think our military maintenance is down, yet. Yeah. Uh, we have one loan, we also um, have an institution here in Portugal, colonialism that's spreading. Um, so yeah, we kind of, we'll probably take our techs first and then um, start developing for the institution. Now I wonder if it would be best to do it in Constantinople. Wow, Romanian is that actually only our only um, stated culture. That's kind of fucked. States. Yeah, so we've only stated so far Wallachia and Moldavia. So we should definitely state up some more territory. Probably Thrace. What does this say? Yeah, Thrace. And Bulgaria as well, similar development. Hmm. And we're behind on admin, so yeah, I probably should um be focusing more on admin. But yeah, I was gonna say we could um Should probably develop Constantinople to get the institution. Albania has a disputed succession. Hmm. It's pretty old too. Forty five years old. We have Transylvanian separatists in six years. These two provinces here are only getting 0.8, so I'm just going to raise the autonomy there. We do need to state up some territory though if we're going to make any more money. But I really just want to get this um, tech renaissance thought. Then we can get um, our influence ideas, which I'll probably go for next, so that we can start integrating Germany in here. Byzantium is dealing with his peasants. Yeah, in the last um, episode as well, um, Hungary took Skopje and Kosovo and Nice, which I was pretty upset about. Yeah, we're capped out here, so let's go ahead and um, turn on an edict here. We can't because it's not a state. Well, let's uh, state it up, but not core anything yet. And we can put on the development cost. And we will go ahead and develop in Constantinople for the colonialism. Once we have, um, we'll definitely take that next. Can we get any points from the clergy here? We can actually. Let's uh, go ahead and seek their support and then demand admin. Can I take up an admin? Nice. I will go for it. influence ideas for the to blow annexation costs is really what we're going for. So with that. Yeah, I want that. I want that Diplo annexation cost. We also have a mission here. So that say once we start integrating Germany and we can release another subject. We only need two subjects for this. That will give us another added bonus. Which would be really nice. Um, let's go ahead and try to well, 
We're just gonna need to find some admin from somewhere. Uh, yeah, no, let's do it. Influence. Our next idea will probably be uh, either religious or humanist. I could go religious and try to convert all this territory, but humanist is, is definitely the easiest thing to do. As well, like, it doesn't look like Germian is converting any of this territory. Oh, we actually have 15 Patriarch Authority. Nice. Well, we should get something. We could do, um, oh yeah, development cost again. Or institution spread. The discovery of El Dorado. Cool. <laughs> There's our truce with the Crimea. Do we even have a claim? Let's come back from the Mamluks for a little bit. Well, uh, oh, Bohemia's in a war. Kind of knew that actually. Because uh, I want him to help me attack Byzantium and Hungary oh shit yeah let's get a claim fuck that's what he wants this territory though Ooh. yeah he wants it uh, that's annoying Yeah, probably won't. Man, why won't Muscovy join this war? Level it and he's in debt. Yeah, now is actually a perfect time to go in. Like, that's kind of all I want. This state here. But, um... I don't want to get on Muscovy's... T like, I don't want to step on his toes. Genoa still has that alliance with France. Oh shit, Kandar has literally no allies. We have so many, well our vassal has so many claims. Problem is, is he's quite disloyal. So if we did go to war and gave him even more territory, He would be even more disloyal, basically, is what I'm getting at. That could be a good vassal, though. This guy, Ered, no. And then could release Eretna. He has four provinces here that are cores. One, two, three, four, all five of these. Oh, shit, and this. So we could just split our vassals into two. That way we do get the um, bonus. Because yeah, it's going to take about 35 years to annex him right now. I'll accept, um, you know, Pab of Provence, looking pretty strong. I'll accept that just so I get some uh, nice relations. Uh, 
Hungry's can't claim in my land. Who is the emperor? Because I think, wasn't it Bohemia was for like two, was emperor twice. Yeah, Austria's emperor again. Bohemia was emperor twice and like lost both his, um... Oh shit, here's a Musa. We have the same dynasty. Fuck. That's crazy. That's kind of annoying, but there's probably a chance to um, PU Bohemia at some point that we probably missed. Let's um, claim this one. Austria would actually help us in that war. Oh shit, Austria! Austria, my friend. My loyal ally. That is very nice to know. Let's see, how many troops does Hungary have? 25k, it's not heaps. This is Byzantium's troops right here. And then I could just annul Hungary's alliance with Austria, which would solve so many problems. We have claims on three provinces here. We we'll probably take this. We want the Macedon state, and we want the rest of Bulgaria. Um, so then we get this drive out the Turks mission. We get some more claims. Yeah. Oh dang. Looks like we are going to have to go further into debt there. Unfortunately. Does he have mothballed shit? Nah. That's alright though. Does Hungary have mothballed shit? Mm, doesn't look like it. No. Yeah, he doesn't. But Austria would join. Austria has 26. He actually has the same amount as Hungary. Hungary's on tech 9. So we should definitely take that tech. 7, 8, 9. We're not actually doing as bad as I thought. Like in comparison to some of the other countries around us. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and core um, a DNA. Let's go ahead and take both of these decks. Um, what if we got Pike Infantry? It would be amazing if Bohemia would join too. Because that would really be uh, the decisive factor. One sec. So guys, we have sixty-six legitimacy and no prestige as well. Which, uh, although Hungary has negative prestige, he's got a pretty good king, Matthias Sanyadi. Yeah, we're going to want to be taking this for sure, and this, let's see if, what, what is this anyway? Stenberg. Just fucking take it, dude. Just take it.
Oh, nice. Here's a separatism. Negative five. Do kind of also want to boost my stability. Come on, Bohemia. Fighting in another war and his war exhaustion. Uh, it's pretty low. I mean, I think we'd be fine with Austria's help. It'd be so nice if he, um, oh, you know what, I should go here. That way we can literally just walk straight for his capital. Let's transport my troops over there, it'll take some time. We're going to be going into debt again pretty soon too. Yeah, I forgot that we had Epirus, we took Epirus in that last war. Philosopher died, we got a revolt bigger. Ottoman separatists. Let me see if he will just quickly attach to me. You can actually take um a military idea and almost our first influence idea too. Land leader fire, we also get um, our first Moldavian idea. The first dismounting. The dis the skelet tells the story of Dragos, a black noble whose hunt for an Orox led him to the ride of the lands of Moldavia. Impressed with the beauty of the realm, he chose her for his new homeland and settled there with his people. The first dismounting. Interesting. Yeah, that manpower recovery speed will be nice too. Is he even going to help me? That's the question. Come here, bro. Nice, we get more morale of armies for 10 years. Don't go to Bigger, bro. Yeah, that's fine. Two base tax and um, Constantinople goes to the burgers. It is um, a natural harbor. Yeah, there's actually crazy um, local trade power here. Come here, man. Please help me. Oh, he's helping. I just want your troops. Oh my god, are you serious? He's not even fucking disloyal. Jesus. Ah, oh, fuck this. I'm doing it. Yeah, we smashed him at least. Lost 1,500 men, which is annoying. Fuck you, Jeremy. I wanna annex your way, yes. Royal marriage from Bohemia. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I want money. Ooh, that would be kind of nice, getting a general. Yeah, we just need money, really. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and then there it goes. Get 10 ducats and lose. There's the age of reformation. So he must be sitting on Moria. Let's have another look now that we're here and ready to go. 
They won't, because it's a distant war. That's fine. Oh, Austria only just joined as well. Yeah, so Bohemia would join that war. Now... He fucking mothballed it. He fucking mothballed it. How long does it take? Like we only have three days right here. So let's detach this 1,000. Well, let's say 2,000 to be safe. Others will go straight for um, the capital. Well, let's. What are we taking? Maybe Macedonia. Yeah. And we call in Austria. Fuck! I didn't wait. I didn't wait till the fucking tick. Oh, this hurts, man. Oh fuck, that's so dumb. And he's gonna maintain that fort and now he has fucking garrison. Fuck me. Fuck me. Let's wait for him to lock into Athens. Oh, we could have had a fucking free fort right there. Are you serious? We can't get there in time? Oh shit. Look at that. God, we can't fucking catch him. Alright. Oh, I'm so dumb though. Fuck me. That's the dumbest thing ever. I literally was about to fucking take his mothballed fort for free. Thank you, Austria, though. You're doing a great job, buddy. Ten legitimacy? No. Let's support the old ways. Let's also take, um, I think, the icon of St. Michael for this war. Let's go ahead and park our fleet here. Breach. That's nice. Oh, come on, Austria. Defeat of the Byzantines there. Nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll just have Austria up here dealing with the Hungarians. I think that should be fine. Let's go ahead and core constant up. Uh, we can't because Byzantium has a uh, claim there, doesn't he? Byzantium actually owns Naxos. We've got really good um, siege ability because of our spy network power. Yeah, we don't even need a fucking... Well, Austria's gonna get stack wiped there. We don't even need a fucking uh, mothballed fort. We can just siege this shit down pretty quickly. Let's take the capital. Nice. Now let's go get hungry off of um, Macedonia. It looks like he's running anyway. That's pretty decisive. Um, let's also take Scop Scopia. Truce with Caraman's up. up here. Where's my siege leader? Just be safe here. Is our truce with Albania? Oh, she's giving us cannons, that's nice. Uh oh. Come on, wipe those troops out. Looks like Bohemia will join now, I don't think we need his help though. Yeah boy, that's a stack by for the Byzantine. Um, army. Let's go for 10s. Yeah, the Austrian army is uh, considerably better. Now let's see if we can take what we want yet. Want this, 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 Bulgaria. <sighs> Fuck, are you serious? That is a huge aggressive expansion. I'm not even taking that much. And I don't even have that much aggressive expansion here either. Is it because, um, it's a separate piece, like, I'm a, yeah, I think it's because he's not a co-belligerent belligerent or anything. And 
and also like by our Macedonia itself is is uh, has a lot of development. Fifty seven aggressive expansion. Gandar, Byzantium, Venice, Caraman, Genoa. Yeah, that's um, gonna be a no go, I think. Dang it. What has uh, the Bulgarian province has less development? That's crazy. I didn't even think I was taking that much. Breach. Bohemia declared war on Hungary. Thanks, buddy. Now I'm thinking about doing stability almost. German just detached from me because he just suddenly became disloyal. You're a douchebag. Come help me, bitch. <laughs> That's so fucking dumb. Yeah, let's just put the infantry on. Dang, yeah, Hungary's getting savage this war. Yeah, this is a Serbian um, core as well. I probably can't vassalize him. Sure, why not? Did Bosnia just into no, he's allied with Bohemia. Okay. Nice. Pest was taken by the Bohemians. Let's see if I can what do I want? Annul your treaties with Austria? And the Papal State? He won't even do that. not really any more significant Hungarian forces. Does Austria want any of this shit? Not really. Alright buddy. We have a hundred spy network now with... Dang. Yeah, even that is like questionable, taking Thessaly. If I take what I really want, it's Naples and Crimea, 
and Albania. Hungry Wild Patrus with Serbia will be pissed too because we're taking his stuff. We could probably do this though. The thing is though, is I'm worried that Serbia will get his core back. So I think what I'll do, I want this, I want heaps of money. Fuck, I don't even do that. Four reps. Are you serious, bro? It's because we don't occupy his um, capital, maybe? Kandor still has no allies too. Oh, and wasn't this Transylvania? Yeah. Who would accept the hat? It's really just Macedonia, I think, that is the, the kicker, Genoa. War reps, now treaties with Austria, the, and the Papal State. I don't mind too much about the Papal State. And how much money can we get? And how much do I actually get? I only get 99 of that amount. Fuck. Okay. Can't humiliate him. Could have him return this to Serbia and then just attack Serbia for it. It's not a bad idea. Could have him revoke his course, that'd be really nice actually. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's just hang around, he's just gonna get exhausted. We can um, go ahead and turn off our maintenance, I think. Venice rival me. have another uh, problem with loyalty. Uh oh, I mean, now we have Byzantine peasants. Still losing money anyway. Fuck, we're losing a lot of money. Yeah, we're just gonna keep losing in a minute. I missed on that one. I think I valued the unrest too much. Man looks rival me. Fuck. Wow, he'll accept that now. 
War reps, can I humiliate him too? is a pretty good peace deal. He's annulling, we should probably, well we'll just annul Byzantium treaties with Hungary that way. And how much do we get of this money? 91. That's what we want to do here. That'll be fine. I don't think we'll improve relations with Crimea. Anything else is. Oh, we could take that, I reckon. Adds Genoa. Naxos adds Genoa. Now let's just save it. Hopefully we can take Skopje. Skopje in the next war. I want to save Admin anyway. So has he lost his alliance with Hungary? He has. Because he wouldn't back him up in that war. There we go. Nice, we've joined up our borders there. Hopefully these, yeah, move into Byzantium. Someone just became... Yeah, Austria's heavily backed. Our new rival, probably the Mamluks. Ooh, Karaman is actually attacking Kandar. The QQ. Who hates them? Castile. Well, let's go QQ because they're a bit weaker. Alrighty, guys. It's looking pretty good now. And um, finally core up some stuff. We don't even have that much uh, war exhaustion. Um, well, I'm actually going to boost stability instead. And yeah, let's go core Burgess. We also have some ideas that we can take, uh, which I will actually go ahead and do. Prestige from land battles and income from vassals. Nice. Our vassal has gone down to... We could maybe pay off his debt. Can we pay off our own debt is the question. Yeah, we can. Nice. And we're making just under ducat. Now with, um, let's go ahead and claim the rest of our spy network power. And we're going to improve relations with um, outraged countries. Nice. Infantry combat ability. Cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.